Each year, more than 200,000 Ohioans are victims of minimum wage theft. So says the Northeast Ohio Worker Center. Experts say lost and unpaid wages can come in all forms. And News 5's Clay Lepard shows us the problems more widespread than you might think. It was supposed to help pay for medical school. So I have documents showing all my paper trail. But Lizette Ponce says just one month working as a server at Bistro on the Falls in Olmstead Falls ended up draining her bank account. After she told police, she received alert after alert of insufficient funds from bad checks and unpaid wages. But I have the actual checks that he bounced to me. Now she's suing her former employer along with filing a written statement with police to try to recover all the money she says she lost. It is a lot of money and I don't understand how anybody could take advantage of anybody. Olmstead Falls Police confirmed to News 5 an investigation into unpaid wages at Bistro on the Falls is ongoing. News 5 spoke with the owner on several occasions and his attorney, who said they're working to pay the employee back. For Lizette Ponce, the whole ordeal highlights a problem often hidden and out of sight. I didn't know that this could happen to me. In some cases, you can actually find out if the U.S. Department of Labor has recovered unpaid wages from specific employers by going through their worker-owned wages database. If you spot a specific employer that you work or worked for, you can file a claim to try to get back some money you may be owed. We asked, and back in January, the Department of Labor provided News 5 with a list of every Northeast Ohio business listed in their database. A list consisting of dozens of businesses and more than $300,000 across industries such as home health care, landscaping, food, and even ironically, peace of mind. Uh, the issue is, is far more prevalent than that. Like a game of whack-a-mole, attorney Joseph Scott made a career out of fighting employers over lost wages and recovering millions in the process. Wage theft exists in pretty much all industries. It's one of those things where we're going to have to be forever vigilant. Here's what he says most commonly occurs when it comes to wage theft. Number one, daily paycheck deductions for a lunch that is never really off the clock. Then there's tip sharing where management takes a cut. And finally, time shift rounding where employers will alter a time card to an official start and end time, even if work happens before or after. It seems like a small thing if we talk about, all right, you're talking about 10 or 15 minutes. It's my 10 or 15 minutes every day. And that adds up over the course of a year. No court ruling or police investigation will recover the time Lisette Ponce has spent fighting this case. I do want to stop this from happening. I don't know how far we're going to get through this. But She's hoping the value in all this comes from setting an example for the future. If we can stop one person, at least for now, to me, it's a big win. Clay Lepard, News 5.